Today we continue with the R8 and the correct valves and valve springs. Now here are the heads. Left hand, right hand bank, V10 as you can see, one, two, three, four, five. And um, so we, we changed the um, inlet and exhaust valves to Ferrer. Basically we changed to turbo valves, yeah, because in terms of material and reliability. And um, <clears throat> we also had to uh, machine the seat of the exhaust valves because they are one millimeter bigger. And um, so it's important that we check, I mean, in general, it's always better to check the, the vacuum. So if they are sealed or not, at the moment they are not installed. They are just inside, huh? Let's see, they just lay inside, cleaned. Then use the, the vacuum, the vacuum gauge. And if you close this, then we can check whether this is sealed or not. Perfect. I mean, the, the more vacuum we have, the better it is. And um, so we know that everything is sealed and then we can um, put the springs in and assemble the head, finally. But now we uh, make the calculation for the popper valve springs because we go from naturally aspirated engine which is a high revving engine with 9,200 RPM, this engine spec, and um, we go to turbo, and therefore <coughs> we want or we need to change the springs as well, because the valves are heavier, and um, also this one, and then we want to put some boost on that, so we have to make a new calculation on the valve springs. Um, this is my sketch, which I use. It's a very rough sketch normally i use this one here where i put all the numbers and figures inside so i can make a calculation but i want to explain this on this clipboard we have the spring this is the stock spring basically and it's installed with a preload so basically this is the preload and this one is the area when the spring is preloaded in the head so this is the area or this is the room where we have the spring inside installed so I have measured this one. I have calculated this value by measuring. Then we have the camshaft, which is opening the valve. Of course, it's normally it's on top of here and you have the valve and the roller and all this blah, blah, blah. But I want to uh, explain this to you with, um, which is technically maybe not fully correct, but of course I want to explain it as simple as possible so everybody would understand it. And uh, I'm sorry if it's not correct all the time and always, and, um, but for me it's more important to explain it easily. So keep it easy. So this is the camshaft, it's opening. When it's full lift, uh, this is hoop, in Germany it's, it's lift. I have 11 millimeter. Then in the green area, this is the, the reserve. <clears throat> we call it reserve or the, the life of the, of the spring before it goes to stock solid. Here, this area, this 24 millimeter is solid. Yeah, the spring will uh, will be completely blocked if you go underneath 24 millimeter. So I have a question to you: Why we have to use two millimeter uh, of reserve of life for the springs? Question to you. Maybe you know. Put it in the comments. Basically, on my calculation, so I put this value. I subtract the lift and I subtract the 2 mil and I know it's maximum 24 mil which I have uh, to measure on the spring before it goes solid. So it, it cannot be 24.5 for example, it must be lower because, because if it's 0.5 for example, we have 0.5 more here. So you will have not 2, you will have 1.5 reserve. Yeah? And this is, uh, we will show this in the, in the, in the gauge here. Okay. So now I, <coughs> I just put the gauge flat, so I put zero. Uh, I took some two springs, two stock springs, of course, OEM springs. Now first we check if we go to solid, so we compress the spring completely, what value we have. So now we have 24 point, let's say five. As I say, too, uh, it's too much because 24 was our, our limit. So this spring is bad. And then I take another one. So 
Yeah? So this spring is okay. And uh, now I want to show you how, what, how, what happens basically in the head. We said the value when the spring is installed is 36.55, so we go down, 36, da, 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 0.5, All right, let's put like this. I put zero, now I, um, I'm coming with the, the, the camshaft, so it starts to open and we go for 11 millimeter. So we go down to 11, this is full stroke basically. like this, uh, a little bit less, oh, like this. Now we have valve complete open, maximum lift. I put again zero. And now when I push down to solid, we have the reserve, two mil. So this is what I said, we need two mil. So this spring is perfect. We release the spring and now we check with the other one. This was where the spring was not so good. So we got pull full down, that's our reserve. So we have only one mil. We miss one millimeter of reserve. So this can cause the spring to break. And if the spring breaks, you can lose the engine. This is the stock spring. So which means in the, in the stock engine, we have springs which are not, they don't keep the reserve. And I know in some cases they fail, especially on a racetrack. On a racetrack, we have a different uh, uh, scenario, of course, as on the street. And we have uh, most of the time uh, higher refs, maybe the limiter is higher and uh, the, I mean, in general, they shift to the limiter, they make pum pum pum, full stuff, they go on the autobahn, <laughs> on the racetrack, and then it can happen, the springs fails. So, because this spring is from the engine, from a spare engine, and uh, I don't know, maybe they don't check the springs when they install it. Um, we see this very, very often on, on uh, normal cars as well. And therefore, we have to get rid of this. So we get rid of this problem. We, we install our springs, which is this one. Do you see it? Yeah. And uh, we get rid of this problem with the, with the uh, reserve, that we don't have too much reserve. On these springs, we have much more, we can go much more in the lift. Maybe you, you see, we don't have so much, uh, I don't know how you call this, but yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nearly eight. <gasps> two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have one spring, basically one circle less, and therefore we can uh, go much, with much more lift. On top of this, we put our titanium uh, retainer on the top, which changes also the design. So we can go deeper. And, uh, and basically it's important, everything will, will uh, fit to the specification which we want to have. Everything needs to play together in a good way. If you have one bad player, you play a bad game. So everything, the lift, the RPM, the spring, the retainer, the valves, the, the weight of the valves, everything needs to be calculated and everything needs to be in this uh, window which you want to have yeah? to run the performance and to run the power you want to have. That's very important on everything. Also, if you, if you, put, you cannot put a big turbo on a car which have only uh, one cylinder, you cannot put the GT, GTX 55, that's clear for everybody. Yeah? Should be, at least. <laughs> Not for everybody, but uh, I think it's clear for you. And um, so one benefit with our springs is we have uh, more um, pressure in the spring itself from the characteristic because we go for turbo now. We have a higher weight of the valve and we need to quick it faster. The bad thing, of course, is we cannot go too much with the, with the lift, with the lift force, you know, because then if you turn the engine, you have uh, friction. You have too much friction that uh, kills also the power and the reliability. So it's, as I say, it's, you have to find the balance. Um, also with these springs, the next uh, point is that we have all springs which are even. Yeah, the material is so good and the construction is so good because they are more expensive, of course, as normal OEM parts, uh, that each spring is even. Yeah? They are completely the same. You will not find uh, such uh, one millimeter difference in those springs. Um, this is also very important. Um, they reach this or they make this uh, in terms of when, they, uh, when the material is, is born, I will say it's born, yeah? Uh, the steel is made and then we get, this maybe that's, this steel is the same as our steel, but our springs, it's called, it's called super clean. Yeah? Because they, if they put, 
the, the material is, is in, the, in the welding process or in the, in, the, in the oven when it's hot and when it's fluid, they make it so many times to get all rid of this bad materials inside. So the process is much, much more intensive and much more expensive to get better material. But this is the key. Yeah? Also, they are shoot pant, but uh, the, the surface shoot pant, as you know from the from the uh, conrods, is the same. Yeah, to make it more stronger from the outside the material. Um, so we have more force. I told you this. Uh, we have better material, and and at a, as a result of this, we get better performance. We can still ref to nine nine thousand RPM or even maybe higher if it's needed with these springs and this uh, constellation. And we get more reliability, yeah. Because you know what happened when the spring will break, you will break the valve, you will break the piston, you will break everything. And I don't want to get the risk of losing this engine with ten pistons in this nice car. So take care, Bytec, Papa, Ende. Tschö.